In this lesson, we learn how to add and modify the lesson module in our course. The easiest way to think about the lesson module is like a cluster or a group of pages. The lesson module is useful when you have a large topic that you're trying to explain and you want to break it up into multiple pages instead of having one massive page for all the content. To add a lesson, click on Add an activity or resource, then click on the lesson module and click Add. We'll give our lesson a name and a description and we'll leave the rest of the settings as default for now. We'll come back to them a little later. Click on Save and Display to be taken to our lesson. Under the Edit tab for the lesson, we have a few options for the type of content we want to add. We'll be focusing on Add a Content Page and Add a Question Page content types. Let's start by adding in a content page. The content page is identical to the regular page module that we already learned how to add. Let's start by giving our page a title. In the Page Content section, we can add all of the content we want our page to have. Underneath the content, we have two options. Arrange Content button horizontally, which we'll leave as checked, and Display in Menu, which will be like a table of content for all of our activities within this lesson. Now, here's where the lesson module gets a little bit different from the regular page. Remember that we said a lesson module is like a collection of pages. Students can navigate through the contents of this lesson from page to page without leaving the actual module. And as a teacher, we can set which part of the lesson students should be taken to after completing a certain page. For each content type, we are given five possible jumps. A great use for lessons is to allow students to make their own decisions on how they want to learn a specific topic. We can also use lessons to set up simulations for students, to help them revise a certain topic or subject, or, as we mentioned, to let them choose their own learning path. Let's add in a few jumps for this page. Since this is the first page of our lesson, we'll just have one jump which will take students to the next page. When you're done editing the page, click Save Page. On this page, we are given a summary of all the different pages in our lesson. We can see the page title, the content type, the jumps that we've set up on this page, and we can also modify the page by editing it, duplicating it, previewing it, or deleting it. And finally, we can add more pages to this lesson. Let's add in another content page. This page will be added underneath our previous page. We'll add some content. And this time, we'll set up an additional jump to take learners back to the previous page. And we'll add another jump to the next page. Lessons will also let us add quizzes directly within the activity. This is useful to test a student's knowledge while they are learning a topic. But before we can add in a question, let's preview this page to see what it looks like so far. This is the first page of our lesson where we've just set up one jump. If we click on that, we'll be taken to the second page. From here, we can go back to the previous page or we can go to the next page which will take us to the end of the lesson. To continue editing the lesson, click on the Edit tab. Then we'll click on the drop down and we'll select Add a new question page. In this drop down, we can select the type of question we want to add and click on Add a question page. We'll give the page a title 
and we'll add in the question under the page contents. Underneath the contents, we can set the responses for this question. For this question, I'll set the correct response to be true. And I'll leave the score for getting the correct answer to 1. And the incorrect response will be false. Underneath the responses, we can also set where this response will jump based on the student's answer. So if a student gets the answer correct, they should be taken to the next page in the lesson. But if they get the answer incorrect, they must be taken to the previous page so that they can revise the topic again. When you're done modifying the page, click Save Page. Let's preview our lesson again. We start at the first page, second page, and then we make it to our quiz. I'll get the answer incorrect and hit Submit. And as expected, I'm taken back to the previous page. In the next lesson, we'll dig a little deeper into some of the settings related to lessons.